I had contact with my aunt who had contact with him. He said he would be here for today. Okay, he's not here. Um, all right, well, let me wait a few more minutes. I'll call some other cases and then we'll see if he arrives, all right? Okay. Thank you. Court does call the case People's State of Michigan versus Raymond Honeycutt. Yes, sir. Good morning, Your Honor. Ali Zend on behalf of the people seeking permission to practice pursuant to Michigan Court Rule 8.120 under the supervision of Assistant Prosecuting Attorney Caitlin Kirby. Permission to practice is granted. Good morning, Your Thank Honor. Janet Oveski, First Assistant Public Defender. On behalf of Mr. Honeycutt, who is present. Uh, I have not had my, no contact with my, with my attorney, sir. Yes, sir. Let me explain that. Um, Your Honor, um, yes. I did. Contact, try to contact Mr. Honeycutt as instructed by um, by the by MDOC. However, uh, when I called, I got a message that they were under emergency immobilization. I tried calling multiple times and could not get through. So I do apologize to Mr. Honeycutt and the court for that. But um, we would so need it was to something having to do with the facility, correct? Yes, yeah. that's my understanding. Right. Okay, but, so, so you would like an adjournment of this proceeding? Yes, Your Honor, and I did um, request any video from uh, Ms. Kirby as well. Yes, uh, excuse me, um, Ms. Uh, uh, Ms. Uh, Denina. Yes, I'd like to talk to you, please. Let's speak to you. Ma'am, sir, sir, did you just hear what she said? No, yes. Did, did you just hear what she said? No, I didn't hear, I didn't hear you. I, I didn't think so. You weren't listening. What she said was she tried to contact you in accord with MDOC procedures. There was yes, something with the facility. Just yeah. listen to me, because otherwise I'm going to be done. I'm just going to give you a date. I'm going to try to explain it to you. She tried to contact you, could not get through, and she apologized to you, but it's not her fault that she couldn't do it. So she's asking for an adjournment so that she can arrange a time to talk to you about the case. Yes, sir. Probable cause conference will be adjourned to September 28th, 2023, 9 a.m., or as your Zoom invite indicates, bond continued. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Okay. All right. Thank Mr. you, Mr. Matry. Okay. Court calls the case of the people of the state of Michigan versus Zachary Grimsley. Recall. Maria Rosinski on behalf of the people. Mr. Matry? Yes, Judge, sir. I was just parking. Uh, good good morning, Judge. I'm, I'm Chris Matry here on behalf of Mr. Grimsley. Today's a day and time set for a prob probable cause conference. Mr. Grimsley's in, in the Michigan, in the MDOC at this time, Judge. Yes, he is. Mr. Grimsley, identify yourself, please. Zachary Grimsley. All right. What are we doing on the case today? Uh, Judge, I'm going to set this for exam, see if the, if the victim is... Um, it's going to appear. I don't know if you if you're still doing the Zoom exams to see that or no. If, we are not. They're, they're all in person. Okay. Um, this one would be set for the 19th unless there's an agreement between the parties to set it for a different date. Well, we'll have to actually probably go to the 26th for transport reasons. But when do you want it? Uh, I would ask if it pushed out a bit. Um, and I just, I, I'm I'm gone the end of the month, so if I could do October 12th or October 26th, I know Mr. Mr. Grimsley, you're 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 in MDOC October until, 10th. until when? October 10th. Oh, you guys do it on Monday. Sorry, my October 10th. No, move, Mr. Grimsley. Oh, Tuesdays. Okay, October 10th. I'll make it work, Judge. Uh, um, I'll have to. Is it in the morning or afternoon? I'm not sure about your. It's your, in the morning. Schedules. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll do October 10th, Judge. I'll I'll make it work. Preliminary examination uh, in person, October 10th, without objection, yes, 2023, 9 a.m. And that is before Judge Freshour. Okay. Okay. I'll uh, I'll make sure I, uh, I find that out. Bond thank you, Judge. Mr. Grim. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And Zach, I'll thank talk you. to you before then. Okay. 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 Thank you, Judge. Calls the case. People versus James Lyle.
Good morning, Mr. Jonathan Evans on behalf of the people. Ready, Judge. Four show feast or assistant public defender on behalf of Mr. Lyle. Mr. Lyle, please state your name for the record. James Lyle. Thank you, Thank sir. You. I had some good conversations with Mr. Evans. Uh, we are work. well, we have almost reached a resolution uh, to a misdemeanor on this file. We're going to have to get the plea form drafted and submitted to your office so we can enter that plea. If we can have a brief adjournment to get that done, uh, we'd appreciate it. All right. Probable cause and conference. I'm sorry. What's wrong, sir? No, I, was, I was trying to ask, can I know what the plea was? Uh, well, he, he will talk to you about that. We don't need the whole world to know <laughs> at this point. But let him... Here's what I'll do. I'll adjourn it to September 28th, 2023, 9 a.m. And that way he'll get in, Mr. Lyle, he'll get in contact with you, explain everything to you, answer all of your questions before then, okay? Okay. If I could just ask, right. um, Mr. Lyle, does he have a projected out date? Just so that I know. If there is uh, one. not Not at this point in time. This is the reason that I'm here is because it is this right. violation. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Court calls the case. People versus Erica Insoon Miller. Again, Your Honor, Jonathan Emmons on behalf of the people. Good morning, Your Honor. First Assistant Public Defender, Queenie Anderson, with and on behalf of Ms. Miller. Ms. Miller, will you state your name, please? Hi, Erica Miller. All right. I have before me a plea form. Is that what we're doing? I sure hope so, Your Honor. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. At the appropriate time, I'll be requesting uh, immediate sentencing. Okay, whatever. No, I'm okay. <laughs> All right. The plea form indicates that the defendant will be pleading uh, guilty to an added count to of use of methamphetamine. I don't have the maximum penalties on here and need to have that, whoever prepared this form. What are the maximum penalties on it? Your Honor, that's my fault. My apologies. It'll be on the all other ones. Um, it's a one year uh, misdemeanor, so punishable by up to one year and uh, and a thousand dollar fine. Oh, All right, two thousand dollars. Are we pleading to the one year use of methamphetamine upon her successful plea to that charge? Count one would be dismissed, and there is, I'm sure they talked about it, no objection to immediate sentencing. That's the court's full understanding of the agreement. Is that correct, counsel? That is correct, your honor. Yes, your honor. All right. Ms. Miller, can you raise your right hand, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? I do, Your Honor. State your name for the record, please. Erica Ensign Miller. All right. Ms. Miller, it is this court's understanding that you're going to plead guilty to the charge of use of methamphetamine. That is a misdemeanor punishable by up to one year incarceration or $1,000 fine plus court cost. Do you understand that? Thank you, sir. And understanding that, do you still wish to plead guilty? Yes, sir. And to that charge, how do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor. Now, you understand that by pleading guilty, you'll not have a trial of any kind? Yes. Because of that, you're also giving up certain rights. You're giving up your right to call witnesses to speak for you at trial or to have this court compel their attendance. You're giving up your right to see, hear, and question all witnesses against you at trial. You're also giving up your right to be a witness for yourself or to remain silent, not have that silence used against you. And you're giving up your right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You understand that, ma'am? Yes, sir. You understand you're giving up your right to appeal of right? I do. Are you on probation or parole? Um, I am on probation. You're still on probation? All right. Just so that you understand this entry of a plea in this case could be a violation of your probation. If it is considered a violation of your probation, you could be sentenced potentially to the maximum allowable under the other charge or charges. You understand that? Yes, sir. And understanding that, do you still wish to enter this plea? I do. Has anybody promised you anything other than what's been stated here today on the record to get you to plead? No, they haven't. Has anybody threatened you or coerced you? No, they haven't. You're doing this voluntarily? I am, sir. Of your own free will? Yes. And because you believe that you are indeed guilty of this offense? 
I am. April 17, 2019, at the location of 2201 Hogback Road, that being the Washtenaw County Jail. Tell this court what you did on that date that makes you think that you're guilty. Um, I was in possession of a baggie of uh, methamphetamine. I came to the court to try to clear up a warrant and had a had a little a controlled substance in my pocket. Um, when I was searched, it was found, and um, I was subsequently charged with that. Okay, have you, did you use it, ma'am? It, that was what I was using at the time, yes. Okay, had you used the methamphetamine? Yes. All right, and you knew what you were using was methamphetamine? That's correct. All right, counsel, have I complied with the court rule, and would it be proper to accept this defendant's plea? People are satisfied. Yes, Your Honor, thank you. Thank you. Court will accept the defendant's plea of guilty to count two. Count one is dismissed. And Ms. Anderson, as to your request for immediate sentencing. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Miller has been in Clinton County Jail as well as Ingham County Jail since the arraignment in this case. Uh, she's been in so far a total of 508 days since the arraignment date. She's currently in custody on the Ingham County case where she uh, will be sentenced on October 2nd with the expectation that she'll be sentenced uh, to a minimum of 36 months in MDOC. So given the time that she served and the time that she will serve, we're asking for credit for time served on this case. Ms. Miller, is there anything you want to tell the court before I impose sentence? Um, thank you for your time and consideration on this. I would just really like to close this matter and so I can uh, move forward. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sent to the court, state minimums of $125, and then I'll order 365 days incarceration, credit for 365 served. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Ms. Miller. Or false case of the people versus Jonah Witt. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Well, that they did something. Hold on, folks. Where I picked that up from. I just saw it. Never mind. Court does call the case of the people versus Rudy Vaquera. Vaquera. Marie Rusinski on behalf of the people. Mr. Bannis. Mr. Bannis. Mr. Bannis. Not Mr. Bannis, but Attorney Feaster, Assistant Public Defender on behalf of the defendant. Uh, oh, there he is. Please state your name for the record, sir. Rudy Vaquera. Thank you, sir. Your Honor, I, I'm so sorry. I was talking to one of our investigators, Andrew Bannis, on behalf of Mr. Well, thank Vaquera. you for joining us. Go ahead. What are we doing on this? It's my pleasure, sir. Um, but seriously, I do apologize. I did speak with Mr. Vaquera. He is waiving exam uh, for resolution up in circuit court. And if helpful to know, he reports to me that he expects to be released from custody, hopefully any day now on parole. And I do not believe this case would constitute any kind of parole violation. Sir, you've heard that your, your attorney is indicated? Yes. All right. You understand that if you waive your preliminary examination, that is a proceeding where the people would have to show by probable cause that the offense alleged was committed and that you committed it. Yes. You understand you'll not have that hearing and you'll proceed to circuit court for further resolution. Yes. People also waive their right. Yes, Your Honor. Preliminary examination having been waived, defendant is bound over on count one with two following. Mr. Bannis. Your Honor, I acknowledge receipt of the information, and Mr. Vaquera stands mute and waives for formal reading. Defendant having waived formal reading, standing mute, court will enter not guilty plea to both counts. Pre-trial in this matter will be set for September 26 at 1.30 p.m. with Judge Conkey. September 26, 2023, 1.30 for Judge Conkey. 
Bond will continue in this case. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Or Thank does you. call the case of the people versus Darnell Taylor. Yeah. Ready, Judge. Myers oh, on behalf of the people. Portia oh, Fisher, Assistant Public Defender on behalf of Darnell Taylor. Mr. Taylor, please state your name for the record. Darnell Allen Taylor. Thank you, Judge. We're just asking for the uh, soonest possible preliminary examination date, please. Would everybody be ready to go on the 12th? I can do the 12th or 19th. Which day? Ms. Uh, Kirby's shaking her head. Not the not, not the 12th, it appears, Judge. So the 19th, I assume. You saw her shake her head? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> All right. <laughs> preliminary examination in person, September 19th. 2023, 9 a.m., and that will be before Judge Valvo. Thank you, Judge. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you, Bond. Bond will continue. Thank you. Court calls the case, People versus Hassan Al-Sabar. Caitlin Kirby on behalf of the people. Good morning, Your Honor. Barry Resnick appearing on behalf of Mr. Alsabar. Good Mr. Alsabar, can you state your name, please? Good morning, Your Honor. My name is Hassan Alsabar. I found one. All right. All right. What are we doing? Judge, um, I just, uh, in the process of getting some discovery, I need to review with uh, Mr. Sabar if we could have an adjournment of PCA, PCC. Waive the 14 day rule. I can assure the court that, that there's an extremely good likelihood on the next date that we'll be able to waive it over a circuit. Probable cause conference, September 28th. He's out. Your Honor, is it possible we could do it the following week as I have another hearing on that date? Um, the 5th, if we could do that, I'd appreciate it. What's, what's the date? Any objection from the people? No, Your Honor. October 5th, 2023, 9 a.m. Bond continued. Thank you. Thank you, Honor. Nice seeing you again. Good seeing you, sir. Thank you. Court does call the case uh, cases of the people versus Nicole St. Germain. Ready again, Judge. Good morning, Your Honor. Nicole Hughes on behalf of the people. Portia Fuster, an assistant public defender on behalf of Ms. Nicole St. Germain. Please state your name for the record, ma'am. Nicole St. Germain. Thank you, Judge. Uh, at this time, there wasn't an, an offer on this file. Uh, based on that, Mr. St. Germain is asking that we have these matters set for preliminary examination, please. Preliminary examination in person will be set September 19th, 2023. 9 a.m. and that is before Judge Fresh Hour. Well, this is <laughs> <laughs> I'll let her know you said who. Um, <laughs> that would be Judge Anna Fresh Hour, man. I was supposed to be let out today. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We, we're setting it for exam, uh, and then we'll try to resolve it at that point and try and get. What, what does that mean? This is what we discussed, where we're going to uh, set it so the witnesses have to come to court to testify, or we can resolve it with a plea. I thought if they didn't come today, that you could resolve it with a plea. No, ma'am. That's at exam. So wait, what's happening? Okay, I'll come see you again, and we'll talk about it again. Um, no, I'm just wondering, because um, you told me that if they didn't show up for court today, that it would be dismissed. No, ma'am. I said a preliminary examination. Cases are often dismissed if the witnesses do not appear. But we can talk about it. I'll no, come see you. Appear. All right, Nicole, come on. All right. Are you guys done? I'm sorry, Judge. No, okay, no, it's okay. Yeah, I was supposed to be released today. That's what we were talking about. I was going to let you go. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it, Judge. <laughs> Mr. St. Germain, I'll come see you again. Your next court date is 9-19. Okay, well, what? I, I just, that's not really what we talked about. Come on, Nicole. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Why did they laugh during mine? Court calls the case of the people versus James Williamson. Yes. 